Okay, in video number 20, we uh, learned how to use the recent places memory in the Garmin in order to plan out a trip. Well, this time we're going to use a different feature called the Trip Planner within the Garmin to try and plan out a, a trip. And uh, we'll see uh, if it's any easier or harder to use. So, uh, where's the Trip Planner? Well, it's in the Where To feature. And right down here where the two little thumbtacks are is your trip planner. And right now there's no trips. I haven't saved any trip plans and uh, there's nothing in there. So I'm going to go up here and create a brand new trip. And you'll notice it wants you to give it a start location and a destination. Now the trip might start at your home address where you just take off and go on a vacation or the trip might start at a totally remote city where maybe you just take your garment and pack it in with your luggage and hop on a plane and end up in a new town or new city and uh, then you rent a car and go from there let's uh, let's try that approach where we're gonna start in Denver Colorado now none of these options are actual city options you could try an address if you knew like where the rental car place was as your starting point. But I'm going to just start with a generalized trip plan here and we're just going to go city by city by city. So if you go into categories and scroll down again, which I showed you in one of the prior ones, you can pick a city. Um, but anyway, we're going to type in Denver, Colorado or just Denver and we'll see notice it's it knows one of the cities is named Denver so I'll pick that and you'll notice it lists a bunch of different cities in different states or provinces we want Denver Colorado so now I'm gonna select that as my starting point and uh, selecting a city route to the city center search locations in this city instead no I'm just gonna stick with the city center of each city Okay, so I've done my starting location. Now I'm going to add a couple of intermediate locations. This is going to be a trip uh, around uh, western United States. So I'll uh, go back down to my cities. And uh, next city I want to put in that I know I want to go to is Salt Lake. So I'm going to try S-A-L-T space L. Ah, there's Salt Lake. Salt Lake City, Utah, bingo. I'm going to select that as one of my intermediate places. I'm going to say no to this again. And uh, another city might be, uh, how about Las Vegas? Let's go back into categories. And again, it's found a hit, found several hits as a matter of fact. But again, the one we want is Nevada. So we select that one. And I can scroll down here and add another location. Category City again. And this time I want to try Sacramento, California. And there it's got the spelling for me already. It saves me a little time. Sacramento, California. So I think I'll go ahead and put in a final destination here. And uh, this time we're going to do Portland, Oregon. And there's a bunch of other possible Portlands. It's kind of interesting to see how many cities there are. Uh, There's pretty much the same name in different states. That must have been a very popular name back in the days when cities were being created. Portland, Oregon, select. Okay, now we've picked a bunch of things that uh, we like. And the next thing is to, uh, it'll calculate the cities in the order that I just put it. Now, again, I picked these names because they're the ones I want to see, but they may not be the exact order I want to go in. 
and maybe I'm going to fly into one city and use the rental car to drive around and see the country and then maybe I want to fly out of another city. I may still have a few decisions I want to make on uh, the order. But one thing I could do here also is save this trip uh, for my July trip. Okay, so I've saved my trip as July trip. Now, what if that's not the order I want to do things in? What if I want to change the order? To edit, delete, or add a new location, select a location on the list. It's kind of giving you a hint right there. I would suggest you not check that box because this message is probably going to come in handy in the future. Now, if you pick an item on the list, you'll notice that we've got an up and down arrow here and we've got a wrench for other tools. Um, we could also hit delete to delete that particular uh, location. But if you hit the up or down arrow, it now puts you into a mode here where you can move the order of the cities around. So instead of going from Salt Lake to uh, Denver and then from Denver to back to Sacramento and from Sacramento to Portland and Portland to Las Vegas I might want to go from Salt Lake to uh, Sacramento from Sacramento to Portland from Portland to Las Vegas and from Las Vegas to Denver where I'm gonna catch my return flight home and I can save that and let it calculate that route and I can take a look at it on the map to see what I came up with give it a moment here to calculate and now I'm going to look at the map just to see what it cooked up so it's going from Salt Lake to Sacramento, Portland all the way back to Vegas and from Vegas to Denver now there might be a more efficient way to do this trip if I flew into Portland. So let me go back and find Portland and we'll switch the order here. And I'll move Portland up to the top. Sacramento second, Salt Lake third, or maybe Las Vegas third and Salt Lake fourth and save it in that order. Now it will normally try to find you the fastest route between all these locations. It uh, may or may not be the shortest route, but it um, it'll at least probably get you there from point to point as fast as possible. Now the next thing, unless of course you turn off that routing option within your uh, settings of the Garmin. Right now, I pick fastest route. I'll look at the map again real quick here. That looks like a pretty efficient route. Now there is another uh, option here for optimizing order. Let's just see when we optimize it if it comes up with a different combination. Nope, that's the same combination. So the uh, combination I chose off the top of my head was optimized as well but what if I find out that flights in and out of Las Vegas are a lot cheaper or at least uh, if I uh, go into Las Vegas first the uh, flight will be half off so maybe I'll move Las Vegas up to the top even though I uh, already bought my ticket to leave from Denver and I already told my friends what date I'm going to arrive there anyway so it's kind of hard to change that one okay so now I've got uh, Las Vegas first and Denver is the last one but it's uh, it's decided that the order I've got it in the uh, fastest way to get there is to go in and out of Las Vegas or in and out of Sacramento or something. Kind of an oddball um, approach. 
So now I'm going to optimize the order and see if uh, I get a little bit better trip plan or not. Looks like it's taken quite a bit of computing power to come up with the optimized route. But it looks like it's almost done here. Let's uh, hopefully wrap this up. And I think you've seen a few of the features anyway. So there's the optimized order. Anyway, uh, something to think about the trip planner and um, just be aware that this option or feature is in the in the Garmin. Go ahead and go in there and play around with it when you get some free time. Um, and maybe after you master some of the features you'll like that approach better than using the uh, Video 20 uh, demo that I uh, explained earlier on how to use Recent. You'll also notice that everything that we've been searching on is in the Recent list here. So, once again, just so you know, you can clear out your Recent and uh, free it up for the next time you need to use your Garmin. Anyway, have a good day and hopefully that will help you out uh, figuring out how Trip Planner works.